Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here to talk about the FLJK6 DIY scooter that you see right now. There's a lot of stuff I customized and a lot of uh, a lot of um, videos I did on YouTube, but I never really talked much about um, this scooter. So I'm here to do a, a full review, honest review about the scooter and see if this is the type of scooter you want. So the specs on the ride is pretty good. It's um, it's rated at 2,000, 2,000 watts. But to be honest with you, the way the ride is, I'm a 220 pound rider. So the way the ride is, it's it. I mean, I think a 1,000 uh, 1,000 watt or 500 watt can still do the performance that this thing does. I mean. It has good acceleration, especially on dual motors, which is mainly almost every type of thing that actually is over 1,500 type of watt. But this is rated at 3,000, but you can't tell the difference unless you have um, like better controllers, like a 50 amp controller or 100 amp controller, enough to push enough current through to power the scooter faster. And you need a 72 volt to even get to like top speed and higher acceleration, higher torque. So I think. Um, most of these um, Alibaba scooters and stuff like that, they, they always advertise those type of 3,000 watts so it can look like it's better. But to be honest with you, it might even be a 1,000 watt and they can advertise it as 3,000 thinking that you're getting a lot of power. But anybody knows, especially the people that have done DIYs like me on this scooter, you can definitely tell the difference that the difference between a 1,000 watt, 2,000 watt and a 3,000 watt, especially the way it can pull you, especially me being the type of weight I, I am. So technically it could get 55 miles per hour, but that's only on a full, full charge. Once it hits 80%, 60%, it becomes like 45 miles per hour, which is still good. The acceleration is still good, but it doesn't hit that top speed because of all the stuff that I also have on it. So including my weight, let's say it's almost right around close to like 250 altogether. But other, I mean, other than that, I, a lot of the stuff I customize and personalize, as you can see in the videos, like even if you look at what's on it versus some of the other shots that's in the video you can tell that it's even though i shot it in different days some of them are different days i actually put um the final results don't really look like that i'll show you a picture on the final results of the scooter So the day that I started riding, I started riding with a friend of mine that I also sold a different type of scooter to. It's the uh, QR Q Power. It's actually really good. I think they have a QR Q Power 2 that comes out. It's totally different from the red look. And I think um, they could have kept the red look in their company because it would have looked really good and it would have really stood out because a lot of the scooters are usually black or white, not always customized. So I think, um, that's a disadvantage they did with um, that QR scooter because I, I actually do like QR because that was my first type, that first scooter I actually customized. And the way you see it is exactly how I ended up giving it to him. He just put like, a, I think he put a mirror on it or something like that, but I customized it to the teeth. I'll show you how that looks too as well. Even though the, the scooter that I have, I, I to be honest with you, when I sold it, I really missed it because it's like I put so much, I put lights on it, I put two lights as you can see in the back right there. That back basket actually got removed I didn't put that anymore so it actually has a better decent bag in the back I'll show you that one too um, the lights down there it's still there um, I gave him a camera because I ended up breaking the camera I have to show a video on how I broke that camera I, I really miss that camera but now I have the um, the newer version of the instant 360 one R I think yeah XR some of that one R or something like that it's like modular where you can remove and, and put together it's pretty cool so um, this scooter definitely gets a lot of looks, especially the one that he has, my friend has also. Uh, it, got, it gets a lot of looks around town, so I think we just love it. I put a back seat, backrest, just like how you see on his too. I put it on that before I sold it to him too. So as you can see how fast I'm going, I wish I put on the speedometer so you can see it, but definitely very fast scooter going down. Uh, I forgot where I'm at, like Andrew Station or something like that. 
but yeah um the basket got removed a lot of stuff got removed i ended up putting more like blinkers on it i actually put a bar at the back seat where you can it actually has two um lights to the top if i can remember if i can find a picture i'll show you the picture of that one too but there's a lot of stuff that's different from the time i shot this shot um, I never posted it because I was like, man, I just don't want to post a ra just a random regular video. Why don't I just do a full review on it and then post something really nice for for you guys, my fans. So that's what I did. So as you can tell, or maybe you can't tell, I, the tires are actually for uh, 13 inch by five by six tires. Really good, soaks up the bumps. The suspension is a motorcycle uh, grade suspension. You know how the motorcycle suspension is. Uh, unlike that one that you see over there on the Q Power, it's kind of like that's just springy, but it has a motorcycle and at the back it has a really nice uh, suspension too. You can upgrade the suspension at the back. It actually holds two housing at the back, so you can actually upgrade it at the back. So yeah, definitely the scooter, if that's the type of scooter you want, I think you would like this type of scooter because it is awesome. All right, guys, till next time, Deridian signing out. Peace.